For this problem, we want to use transformations and the graph of f of x equals the absolute value of x to graph g of x equals the negative absolute value of x plus 2. g of x is equal to negative f of x plus 2. The negative function means that we will reflect the graph over the x-axis. So our new points are going to be at 1, negative 1, and negative 1, negative 1. Connecting the points, we get the graph of negative f of x. Adding 2 to x means that we will shift the new graph to the left by 2 units. So our new points are at negative 3, negative 1, and negative 1, negative 1. Connecting the points, we get the graph of g of x, and this is the final answer.